Hello, 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 everybody. This is an exciting day for everyone here because as you can see, I look a little different. This is me in all my no makeup glory. Yes, no makeup glory. So I've been wanting to do this video for a little bit and I, this is the day, this is it. This is the day where I bit the bullet, came to you sans makeup, to do a little get ready with me and try out some new products. So for those of you who are new here, my name is Lara and this is Confident Notions. I usually look a lot different than this. <sighs> we do haul videos. I've been trying out some other stuff too. So this is the first in like a trying out new makeup. Well, I've actually tried this before like, and it failed spectacularly. And this is, uh, hopefully this one won't feel nearly as badly as the last one did. I think the last time I did a makeup video it was trying out makeup that i brought back from england and oh lord it was bad so this is a little different i have a enormous box of makeup from elf yeah elf our friends at elf who we can find at times at the dollar tree but also at target and walmart and let me tell you i went online to their website and first of all they got a lot of stuff on there second of all anything over $35 is three free shipping and then they also run specials like over $15 you get free shipping so let me tell you it's not hard to get free shipping on the elf's website and everything is like really really reasonable like three dollars up to eight dollars for products and so I thought okay is this any good is it good as like regular name brand products like how does it how does it compare and first of all I'm going to tell you I am very pleasantly surprised when using this stuff for a little bit, but now I'm going to show some with you. So first up, I did wash my face, not really wash it, I didn't wash it this morning. I put, I used this e.l.f. Keep the Balance Toner, oh by the way, this is not in any way, shape or form sponsored by e.l.f., they have no idea who I am, so not that many do, which is fine. Um, so this is the Keep Your Balance Toner, and it is with hyaluronic acid, aloe, and witch hazel. I believe this was $8, and let me you only need a little bit of it. So I put some on the pads, I wipe my face, it cleans it up, gets the night oils off of it. And I want to tell you, this stuff is amazing. This is fantastic. Love it. Love it all day long. So started off with the Keep the Balance Toner. Then I did, obviously, like this is not e.l.f. brand. I did start with, um, I put on some Clinique All About Eyes. This is the Reduces Dark Circles and Puffs. It's working hard because this is better than it was. This came in um, one of my Clinique orders. So it's like a deluxe size and it's not bad. I'm working my way through it. And then for moisturizer, I put on the Clinique Moisture Surge Intense 72 Hour Lipid Replacing Hydrator. I I use this small one because I'm trying to work my way through it. I actually really love this stuff and I have a big bottle of it. Um, but I want to work my way through these samples first. They're taking up space. So let's get to started. Got my tea in my Thug Life cup here. Okay, so first up. I got some of the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. And I've heard a lot of people talk about this and they're like, oh, this is amazing. This poreless putty is a great primer. And I was like, whatever, it's putty. Not bad at all. So it's in this tube and it's kind of like, it's putty, like it's literally putty. And so what you're supposed to do, sorry, I'm getting this off my pants. What you're supposed to do is scoop some out like with your fingernail or they also sell, and I believe this is like either six or eight dollars, or they also have this putty primer applicator, which has this little like scoopy thing at the bottom and this little brushy thing at the top. Um, and I believe this was either six or eight dollars as well. I picked up both of them. So I'm not going to use my finger now. I'm just going to scoop a little of the putty onto this little putty cup. And I am not going to use the brush. I'm going to use my fingers because... That's how I am. So I will say that for me, a, a nice primer, not on my lips, is a great way to start um, and make sure that my my makeup like actually sticks to my face. Um, I tend to, I am not, I'm more dry than anything, as you can tell by the redness. Um, I do also have hyperpigmentation which will fade over time. It's 
it's a it's a result of being pale and according to my dermatologist because um I do have psoriasis I don't have it like I have it a little bit here but elbows and knees and stuff like that but she says that like hyperpigmentation and propensity to scarring is one of the is like common with folks who have psoriasis anywho um I never had, I do have some bumps right now, just some like clogged pores. I never had acne as a kid or anything like that, just like your normal run of the mill pimples, which now into my worries <laughs> hasn't really gone away. So we've got the Poreless Putty Primer applied. Now I did pick up two things. First was the e.l.f. Flawless Satin Foundation, and this is in snow. I tried this in another color and it was way too dark for my pale, pale self. And this is a satin finish. But then I also picked up the CC Camo Cream. And I've heard people talk all over the YouTube about how this um, CC Camo Cream is like a great dupe for the IT Camo CC Cream, um, just for a fraction of the price. Um, the IT brand runs like 40 bucks a tube. And this is a little expensive for e.l.f. It's like $12. So it is a broad spectrum broad spectrum SPF 30 with sunscreen, color correcting, full coverage, natural finish. And I got this in fair 120N, which seemed, I tend to look at the far left side of the spectrum, like the pale, pale stuff, and see what's like one or two over. It's usually how I go. So I'm gonna use this, and I've got my faux beauty blender. I think this is one from uh, Shop Miss A. Um, the good thing about this being like nude colored is you can't see how dirty it is. And I'm just going to put one pump of the CC cream here on my hand. And you can see it's kind of like it's kind of thick, like as a CC cream goes, um, which is what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to like color correct. So we're just going to get blotting this on. We're going to try down here, cover up some of my spots. All right, so I got most, I got that all blended in. And you could see like, it started out looking kind of white and a little bit like ghostly, but after it's applied, like all of the redness that I had over here and even my little blemishes on the chin, covered, like covered nicely. Um, so yeah, I've got no issue here with the, the e.l.f. camo cream, like the CC cream, like, evens it all out, looks great. I ain't got no issues with this. So highly, highly recommend it. Um, I also did pick up this e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer. This is in the color Fair Rose. This is super duper light. If I was gonna do like a true, like let's get the, like a true contouring and like let's get like this even whiter, I would use this here because it's really, really super light. I'm not going to do that today because it is it is Sunday and I'll probably post this video tomorrow, like either Monday or Tuesday, but we're gonna we're gonna keep it kind of au natural. So the next thing I usually do, so after I put on whatever base foundation or CC cream I'm gonna use, is I'm going to go in with a setting powder. I'm a big fan of a setting powder. I actually have an e.l.f. setting powder that is a um, it's in a compact version that I got at like Walgreens and it works spectacularly. Big fan, huge fan of it. Love that one. I've also tried the various setting powders from, um, Shop Miss A. Got no problem with any of those either. For me, I do like a whiter one, the one that's like more translucent and just kind of blends right in. But I did pick up this e.l.f halo glow setting powder and i've got makeup on it here so i picked up this and this is a loose powder and what i really liked about this because i have had some setting powders that are more expensive that don't have like as nice of a toppy thing on it so it's got this little like twisty doodad to uncover and get the the holes open so i twist it open drop some in the top get a little bit in here and I'm gonna take like my bigger brush. And I know some people just like, some will just like set under their eyes or in their T-zone. I set everywhere. I set the whole thing. I want it all set. So I'm gonna take this e.l.f. This is actually an e.l.f. Kabuki brush that I've had for a really long time and we're not gonna talk about how long I've had it. Um, but I just go in and set, set the whole thing. Like I really like to make sure that my foundation is locked down and 
I have like a nice finish. And I think part of this too is like I wore powder foundation for like years, years, years. I mean, it's only been in maybe like the last five years that I transitioned to trying out more like liquid foundations. Crazy, right? So now I'm all locked and set down. Um, the next thing that I usually do, sometimes I do and sometimes I don't, like just depending on the day, I'll either just add on some blush from here or I will do a little bit of bronzer for a little bit of contouring because I am pale and I need a little bit of sun-kissed glow if you catch my drift. No, I did not get a bronzer, which is fine. Um, I have one from like an old box that I've used because I don't use that much of it. But what I did pick up is this e.l.f. Highlighting Holographic Duo, and this was like six bucks too. So this is in Siren's Call, and I really like that it had like this dual, um, this dual highlighter. So it has this more like peachy highlighter, which you can't really see, but it's really pretty. Um, and then this more like, like true highlighter. Super pretty. So I am going to do a little bit of highlighter here. I'm just going to do like where we normally do, like around the brow bones. Um, like, I don't know, left, right, or sideways about brushes. Like, true story. Um, I just use whatever I've been sent in various boxes or comes in a kit. I mean, it's like, get you a like, $40 brush. I don't need a $40 brush. Like, it's a brush. And as we know about Lara, I'm really bad at washing my brushes. But I did wash these ones like recently. All right, then next up, like I said, normal everyday like makeup, then I'll go in with a blush. This e.l.f. blush I also recently picked up in this box of treasures. Um, this is the Primer Infused Blush in Always Rosy. It says lightly dab a fluffy brush into the pan and then sweep across the cheeks. Let me tell you, this is, this is dark, like it's intense. So especially with something like this, if I swirl it around, I need to tap this off because it's probably gonna come in real bright, yeah. Um, makeup influencer, I am not. So just a little rosiness there. And again, it, it really is like a delightful color. Um, let's just blend this bad boy out and with the other brush. What'd I sell you? Influencer, I am not. Makeup guru, not a chance. So there is that. Now for me, again, if, like if you notice something about me, like I always have like eyeliner on, or um, in mascara, I don't know, and, and lipstick. Like those are my, my go-tos. I need my base, but gosh, I need my lips and I need my eyes. So a couple of other things that I did pick up in this e.l.f. kit that I didn't try yet. So this is the, um, this is in lychee, lychee. So this is like a blush duo, which is really, really pretty. And so it's got like a shimmery one and this matte blush. And this was $3. I also picked up, oh, that's not that, two of these eyeshadow palettes for $3 each as well. So this is their bite-sized eyeshadow in pumpkin pie, and you get four pans, like four pans for $3, um, yes. And then this one here, this bite size in truffle, again, four pans, $3. Yes, yes, all day long to the yeses. So because you're with me and I'm with you and we are trying out some of this new makeup, I'm going to try this eyeshadow. Now, I'm bad at eyeshadow. Like I'm way bad. So like if you came here looking for like some great tutorial about how to do eyeshadow, this is not the place for you. It's barely the place for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this here and we'll, we're gonna see how this goes. So I think I'm gonna start here with this little brownie one. And I'm just gonna start in the corners and just like tap that bad boy in there. I will tell you like as far as the um, like the texture and all that goes, it's a, it's a nice eyeshadow. Like for three dollars, this is a delightful eyeshadow and I'm like super duper impressed because you know, I tried my fair share of Dollar Tree eyeshadows and the hard candy eyeshadow, it's not good. That's just my personal opinion. I mean, like you might love that hard candy, hard candy eyeshadow. 
I am not a huge fan. Um, it just doesn't do it for me, which is fine. Okay. So next thing, again, I am not a beauty guru. I do not do makeup very well, but I am going to go in with this darker brown here. And I'm just going to get in my crease a little bit here in my crease. Why? I don't know. Because I saw other people putting stuff in their crease. And that is why I put stuff in my crease. Even though I got some hooded eyes and when I put that in there, it disappears. Good times. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this sparkly thing and I'm going to put it in here and dab it on with my finger. Why? Because I saw somebody else do it and I thought, that's cool. I can use my finger. So, I'm going to sh smush this in here with my finger. Get it in with my finger. And that's it. That's my eyeshadow. And then I'll just go ahead and, like, blend this out or whatever. Because, again, I heard somebody else say blend it out. So, I'll just blend this out. Shadam. Again, I do not go for, like, some, like, big to-do, like, eyeshadow burr, 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 burr. Reason being is I am on Zoom calls all day long. And I don't want to look like I'm getting ready to go to the club when I'm sitting in a meeting with a bunch of tech dudes. I just need a little bit. A little bit to remember that I'm still a girl, right? Whew. Let me tell you. Zoom calls all day long is exhausting. All right. So a couple of other things that I did pick up. I picked up, I'm not going to put this on right now, but this e.l.f. Enhancing Lash and Brow Serum. I actually got this at Target. It was like eight bucks. And I was like, because my lower lip eyelashes are so sparse, like you could drive a truck through like each of them. So I thought I would pick this up and just give it a whirl. Um, just for my eyelashes, really. My brows are pretty good. I did not over pluck them back in the 90s. But I do get a little sparse right here. But my eyebrows have always grown this way. Like they go straight up and then over. And sometimes I will get like an eyebrow hair that is like as long as like my, my real hair. Maybe not that long. But you get the drift. So... I have been liking to like just add a little bit of like fill in right here. So I did get this e.l.f. Instant Brow Lift Pencil. And this is in the color Neutral Brown, right? And so it's just like your regular thing and you just like, I just like to draw it in a little bit here. Not very well, clearly. And then I don't usually like, I don't really fill in too, too much like with the rest of it. But I will take the little spooly doodad and just kind of like blend it through. Again, my my super easy Zoom meeting makeup trips for you. Okay, I did not pick up an eyeliner from e.l.f. So I do just have my Clinique eyeliner. This is, uh, what color is this? This is Intense Chocolate and it's just the... Um, just the non-sharpening kind. So I will go ahead and put that on and be right back. Okay, eyeliner on. Um, so I usually do just put it on the top lid and sometimes I will go like halfway down the bottom, never fill in the full bottom. I don't know what it is like for those of us like 80s and 90s gals, we always filled in the whole thing. It just makes your eyes look smaller. Like don't do it anymore. Like if you still do it, don't do it. Like trust me on that. Just like leave the bottom off. Okay. All right, the last, Next to the last thing I have to try for y'all. This is the e.l.f. Lash It Out Loud Mascara. And this is in black. And people have been losing their minds over this. They're like, this is like amazing mascara. And let me just second that. This is hella awesome mascara. Um, it does have like this, the plasticky brush with these short little bristles, which honestly, like I am okay with. Like, and I know some folks are like, um, that it builds up really well and you can put like a couple of layers on it. And I'll be honest with you, I don't put extra layers on my mascara. It's probably why I never get through like a mascara in any like reasonable period of time before it dries up and goes bad. Um, I don't know what it is. Like I, I didn't wear mascara for like a long time because I got paranoid about like feeling like my eyes were gonna stick together. And 
also there was like when i was in high school like one of the librarians like had these like enormous like spider eyelashes and like sometimes when she would blink like her top and bottom lashes would like stick together and it creeped me out like a whole lot so i didn't so i don't like put too much on there but i will tell you like this is a lovely mascara like it really is like for the price for like the six bucks or i think it's six dollars that this is is really nice like as far as like a drugstore brand like mascara goes delightful just delightful highly highly recommend the elf lash it out loud mascara all right a few more things that i got in my box of treats i did pick up two things um and again so some of the stuff i picked up at target some of the see i feel like my eyelash is sticking together i put an extra coat on so some of these things i got at target and some of the and the rest of them i got on the elf website um so this here i do have two things i have the elf liquid matte lipstick in marvelous M marvelous marvelous i love mauve lipstick and then i did also pick up the ride or die lip balm in tough cookie this is nice this is real nice like this is really nice for like if you're gonna feel like you're constantly like if you're not gonna have <sighs> this is really nice when you are not going to be like eating or drinking a lot of stuff and you're just going to be sitting there like on a zoom meeting like staring at people for a while and it'll stay on your lips and be a nice touch of color i am constantly like drinking something because i get dry um so i do like something that lasts a little longer so i'm gonna try the marvelous marvelous liquid matte lipstick and i do like this here because it comes off with this weird not weird but this like odd looking like doe foot thing that you usually don't find in a liquid lipstick all right so there's the lipstick i like it i do think the camo cream i do think i need a little bit of bronzer on this because i do feel a little white and then like a little like red lipness but it's okay it also might be the lighting who knows so that is my try on of the elf products oh actually before i go in there's some things i didn't show you that i was um that i have yet to try but i'm excited to the first one is this elf wow brow volumizing fiber gel i thought that was cool to try it was like three dollars so yes um and then i did also pick up this holy hydration face cream i do believe this was 12 dollars, but it's with hyaluronic acid and peptide complex like i said i've been working on my skincare routine recently so i thought this was good to try i haven't tried it out though i've been really loving on my clinique products um that i've rediscovered so i've got that and then the other thing that i did pick up and i used this like once on that pimple that was down here that is now beautifully covered is this elf um what are we calling it oh gosh it's like pimple gel it, but it's wet and it comes in this like roller ball so it's like this roller ball thing and you put it on your pimples and let me tell you it did work it helped take this down like it didn't take the redness down but it definitely like took the the inflammation and in that down so big fan um i did get some free gifts on my thing so they did send me um what is this it's a special oh, it was a highlighting brush i should use that with the highlighter so this really pretty highlighting brush and i think i also ended up with another one of these wow brow things as a free gift there so yeah that's i i gotta tell you elf not too shabby like y'all have done a good job like i am really really blown away by the cc cream i think it is absolutely delightful again it is a little light right now but i just needed to like a little bronzer in that a little brighten it right up but it's it the coverage is spectacular like you saw my redness and like my my chimples that's that chin pimple if you weren't curious i'm gonna tm tm trademark that so my chimples down here um so they covered that up and i think it's done a delightful job so yeah 100 percent thumbs up elf y'all killed it so if you like videos like this let me know um maybe i'll we can try some different looks so you can watch me bumble through um it's funny because when i started this channel i thought i was going to do like more makeup -y stuff and i actually have a, like a um a grouping of videos that's called like horrible makeup videos because i'm just really bad at this so i'm going to add this to this and you can see, and then in that grouping too you'll be like oh laura there's the tragedy when you tried like all that uk makeup and it was not what you anticipated so yes, so that is all for me. I hope you like this. If you like videos like this, please let me know if you wanna see more. Um, also go ahead, hit that like button. 
It would super duper help my channel, comment on all the good stuff. And uh, I'll see y'all soon.